Hey, everybody. So I have my meeting tomorrow with Dr. Roland from the NYU Cochlear Implant Center. He is the doctor that for the last 20 years has been my cochlear implant surgery. He knows me since I was a tiny, wee little kid. Um, and so to be able to make the decision to pursue my second cochlear implant on my left side is such a huge thing for me. I have some questions for him for tomorrow that I am going to go over. So question number one, what should I expect to be able to hear? On my right side, I have been training that ear for over 20 years. It is my dominant ear. And so because I lost my hearing to meningitis on my left ear, it's been 20 years since that ear received any sort of stimulation. I want to be able to know what I should expect to hear. Is sound going to be clear or is it going to sound like a jumbo mess? Next, what should I do to prepare before surgery? So I have been taking my health very, very seriously. The other day, I ran almost four miles, which is a huge thing for me. But I want to be able to know, should I keep that up? Should I chill? Should I give my body time to rest? What is the best practice leading up to surgery date? I also want to know what are some of the eating habits that I should change. I haven't been eating the healthiest. It's the holiday season. I've been eating, you know, a lot of fat, a lot of starchy foods. Um, should I change my diet with almost like, what is it, 18 days leading up to the surgery? Um, anything that I should cut from my diet or eat more of? In addition to that, um, should I cut down alcohol completely? What about multivitamins? Multivitamins. Third question, will the placement be in the same area on the left side? I have seen people that they get the cochlear implant, but then it's like the cochlear implant is like right next to their ear. It looks a little bit weird. Uh, I don't want that. I want the magnet to be kind of like towards the back of my um, ear. Of my ear. Um, so I want to make sure that we get the placement just right um, in the opposite side, on the left side, relative to how it is on the right. That is so important to me. I also want to know how much of my hair they're going to be cutting because I've been growing my hair for the last year. I also want to know if it will be possible to upgrade the implant that I currently have on my right side. Advanced Myonics, the company that I use, they came out with this MRI compatible cochlear implant in I think the last two years. And that is such an amazing upgrade. But the magnet that I have on my right side is not MRI compatible. Is it possible to switch it out? Next, can I try another cochlear implant brand? I currently have Advanced Bionics, but Cochlear has some really, really cool stuff. They have a silicone mold that's waterproof. They have like all this cool functionality for you to be able to change sound from your phone and all these other things that Advanced Bionics doesn't yet have. So I'm really curious if I can have one side that's Advanced Bionics and then the other side that's a cochlear um, device. Next, how much pain should I expect relative to prior surgeries? So I have had two replacement surgeries on my right side. And the very last surgery that I had, I remember that I did not feel a lot of pain um, at all. I don't, I, I just don't remember being in pain. But I'm a little bit worried about how that is going to be affected on the left side. Again, I lost my hearing to meningitis. Again, it's been 20 years since I heard on that side. And I'm just a little bit nervous because I saw a YouTube video. And that was a lot of drilling. So 
I'm just a little bit concerned about the pain that I will be experiencing post-surgery. Is it going to be more or should I expect the same amount of pain that I have been experiencing for the last few surgeries? Next, how much rehabilitation should I expect um, relative to what I have done on the right side? So again, 20 years, really long time. Should I expect that um, the left side getting implanted, the quality of side is going to sound like this and it's going to sound horrible. And so I should expect to maybe take the next entire year with intensive hearing and speech therapy what should i look what what should i expect how much time should i commit to getting rehab on the left side next i want to know if there are support groups for cochlear implant users for people like me one of the things that i have seen is that there it's a lot of support, but it's mostly for parents um, of children that, you know, just lost their hearing because they're babies and, you know, they have hearing loss. I want to be able to find more people like me. And by like me, I mean people who are oral, people who are professionals, people that are working, people that have been mainstream. Where can I find people like me? Next question is, how long will the surgery take? I'm a little bit nervous about this one. Um, will it be a couple hours? You know, I really have never asked how long the surgery is. So I'm really curious to know how long the surgery is going to be. And then my last two questions for now are, what can I do in the current reality of COVID to prepare for surgery. Should I isolate for the next two weeks? Can I still, you know, do socially distanced gatherings? Um, I mean, it's the holidays. My birthday is going to be this coming week. Uh, and I just feel like a lot of anxiety because I'm going to be around people wearing my mask, of course, but is this something that is not recommended? Should I just, you know, really isolate myself for the next two weeks until surgery? And then finally, what kind of testing should I do prior to the surgery? Do I need to get my blood work done? Do I need to do a CAT scan? Like, I just have so many different appointments coming up and I just want to have a clear picture, a very, very clear picture of what is going to happen next. So those are all my questions. I am really, really nervous, um, but mostly just really excited for everything that's going to be happening. If there are any questions that you think I should be asking that maybe I'm forgetting, please write it in the comments. And with that said, tomorrow, morning is going to be my appointment with Dr. Roland. I am so, so full of feelings um, and it's going to be a very exciting morning. I will keep you all updated on the answer to all of these questions and then so, talk to you later.